Welcome to this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight, shining the light on Selma and Dallas County. I'm Cindy Fisher, publisher of the Selma Sun. And I'm Todd Prater, staff writer for the Selma Sun. Here are this week's top stories. There's a new workforce development program at Wallace Community College Selma, and it just graduated the first 15 students Wednesday the 6th. The Shift to Success program teaches core professional skills from resume writing to job interview preparation. There's even classes on technical school skills like production practices, safety standards, quality assurance. Students begin the eight-week program in August, and they had an opportunity to receive up to five nationally recognized workforce credentials and certifications. Shift to Success is funded by a $57,000 grant from the Regions Foundation, which is a nonprofit that's primarily funded by Regions Bank. Selma residents can stop dreaming about getting a Chick-fil-A, at least on Wednesdays. Right. Reporter Faith Callens has this story about the McCullough Chick-fil-A food truck making a stop in Selma throughout October. Right behind me, there's a red and white truck. Not just any red and white truck, but one that sells chicken. Citizens of Selma were lined up in the city's Welcome Center parking lot to get first glance at the newest attraction in town, the McCullough Chick-fil-A food truck. The food truck operated for the first time on Wednesday, September 29th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Selma's planning and development director, Danielle Wooten, said the city is super excited to have a franchise such as Chick-fil-A to operate within the city. For a few weeks now, we've been working with the owner of the McCalla Chick-fil-A food truck to bring them to Selma to service the Selma, Dallas County area and surrounding areas. McCalla's Chick-fil-A owner, Carrie Jones, said the city of Selma reached out to his Chick-fil-A because residents within the city had little to no food options. Really wanted a Chick-fil-A building, but we that's not up to us. So we got a corporate food truck about earlier this year. And so we decided to partner with them. We're bringing the food truck up here once a week on Wednesday from 11 to 7, just to bring a little excitement to Selma. Selma resident Lauren Smith felt the food truck was an awesome idea and mentioned how big a difference it would make having a local Chick-fil-A right at home. It's awesome. I mean, I love Chick-fil-A, and now it comes to Selma once a week, and we don't have to drive all the way to Montgomery or Prattville in order to get it. So how was the pricing of the food that you ordered? Um, I mean, it's a little bit more than buying it at the restaurant, but at the same time, it's coming to me. I'm not going to drive an hour there, an hour back, so I'm saving all my gas. Chick-fil-A food truck will service the citizens of Selma every Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm Faith Callens with the Selma Sun. Two new businesses open up in our area the first day of October. Welding Supply Selma held a ribbon cutting at their new store, which is at 2803 Citizens Parkway. Owner Matilda Williams says that Welding Supply will carry a full line of fire-resistant clothing, welding helmets, and safety glasses. As for the welders themselves, she says COVID still has some supply chains running a bit slow. Another new business opened October 1st in Summerfield area, right next to the store at the corner of Summerfield and 16. It's called The Venue 37. Owner Jane Harris initially was building a porch on the back of the building so lunch customers at the store would have a place to eat. But she said her son announced his wedding, so she decided to develop the building into a place for parties and get-togethers, just in time for her son's rehearsal dinner. If you've got an event you need a place, call Harris at 874-8822. The YMCA of Selma, Dallas County has started a GoFundMe page to raise $100,000 to cover day-to-day -day expenses after seeing a big drop in memberships during COVID. YMCA leaders say they have been operating at about 20% of their normal membership level and need to make facility improvements and replace equipment. Director of Operations Rashida Morgan said the current financial situation at the Y has nothing to do with its debt and is separate from their annual fundraising campaign. The Y gets its funding from memberships, trusts, the United Way, and general donations. But the bulk of income comes from programs like summer camps, basketball season, and swimming lessons. That all should return when COVID subsides. We have something fun for you today. St. Paul's Episcopal Church held a blessing of the animals in their Hammonds Courtyard on October 3rd. Selma residents and church members brought their dogs on leashes and cats in crates to be blessed by Pastors Amy George and Henry Hudson. 
after some songs were sang, the pets were blessed in recognition of St. Francis of Assisi to celebrate all the animals in our lives. Donations of dog and cat food was taken for the city's animal shelter and perfect pals. I love my fur babies. Me too. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Selma Sun Spotlight. See you next week. Thank you.